officially announced last week. It's seeking a rate adjustment, which could see customers paying more for electricity. But over in Old Harbor Basin, Catherine, residents say for the past months, they've already had to dig deeper in their pockets for electricity bills. We have the details in this report. Old Harbor Base and Catherine shopkeeper Miss Jewel nervously opens her electricity bill. She's nervous because in recent times her bills have totaled more than one hundred thousand dollars. Now to the big reveal. The amount is three hundred and thirty-six thousand. I just have two fridge running, and I have like a couple early by seven o'clock I close. I'm just sitting out there and two bulk running. I don't have no cell phone. one who has concerns. More business people came forward with electricity bills in hand. We observed that some had balances brought forward. This shopkeeper's bill moved from sixteen to over $62,000 in April. That, she says, has since increased to over $120,000. Sometimes can't buy what me could. But me don't feel like it. consumption, complaining that the current charges are unjustified. Lloyd Grant is the counselor for the Old Harbor South Division. I'm also a victim of those I might be some JPS. But I get to understand it that the system that we have in Old Harbor is a system that they call the wrong system at the It is a computerized system, so you don't have a when we contacted the JPS, we were told that the residents have not lodged a formal complaint. The JPS, however, highlighted some irregularities in the area, among them electricity theft and customers subletting electricity. The light and power company, however, admitted that it was experiencing challenges with its meter readings. The residents are being asked to contact the Old Harbor Bay office as the issues can only be resolved on a case-by-case -case basis. If it's not one thing, it's another. If it's not one thing, it's another. There's no escaping all the trials and tribulation that's going on back home in Jamaica. It doesn't seem like why I hate to say it, you know, honestly. I hate to say it. But if it looks this bad from where I am, can you imagine, I can just imagine being there and have to go through it because it is sad. It's sad. It's sad and it's bad. Now you hear this me I talk about the system where them have them already know the system that is there and knows that the system is overcharging people, overcharging the citizen. Hmm? One woman open her open her bill and over three hundred thousand dollar. One other girl I say her niece get one bill for seventeen thousand dollars or whatever it is, they got from seventeen to sixty or seventy eight thousand. How are these people going to survive with all that them have to deal with already plus every day something else just come in? 
when a man a work minimum wage at Jamaica, we might get peanut him not get nothing. He must go spend whatever he have to keep the light on because the kids they need to study. Or they need to use a computer. The little car where I have where I run taxi where I make the money for bringing for pay the little bills and whatever it is. Police take it away because maybe the plate never right or whatever the case may be. And 50,000 for you get it back. So the, 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 the thing that you are supposed to use to make money, you don't have it because the government take it from you because a little plate late payment. So you have to go think about getting the car paying the light bill and continue making sure that the kids them go to school and food upon the table and the bills still appear. More and more it made me start realizing why some people really do what they do to survive. Because it the thing the thing the thing passed sticky. It passed sticky. You hear me? It's sad. The government for do better, man. The government for do better, man. More and more make people think that them really are doing things to kill off poor people. That's just how it start looking like. They're really doing things to kill for poor people. Hmm? Why? Why, honestly, why they're being so wicked to the people them? The people them don't have no rights, them don't have no talk, them don't have nothing. Hmm? It's already bad already. It's already hard. It's already rough. It's already tough. I see how much people there at Jamaica are trying to help out the poorer community because the government not do nothing. People there are foreign are trying to do what they can do to help out because the government not do nothing. You now the people that get overcharged by a light bill. And the funny thing is the government not going to take the blame the JPS now go say I feel them problem and it's it's a mistake. No, them expect to get that money. So you are saying people for go kill people, for go thief. And that you are saying the people them for go do. For go rob. And the people them who them are rob is people who in the same position like them. But they're not no choice. Because a man a thinks a fiend pitney and forget milk. And the, the, the problem with JPS just bring down panim, you know. Make it even worse. And when him got teeth for pay the bill, him all got jail. I can't end up losing him life. I can't end up taking somebody else's life. makes me start realizing more and more that it seems like them on the verge to wipe out Jamaica, wipe out the poor people there. That's how it seems to me from where I am looking. Yeah. Them intend for damage. Them already had damage the island. And all the, the criminals, them are do it, you know. Yeah, the ones them in the suits are do it too. There is nobody who cares. None of them government people, they care about the poor people. The things I hear them do, these politicians do, forget votes and all these things. And when them get the votes, them forget about the people them. And sometimes we say people them naive because them run to them, forget what them run and take this and take that from them. But the people them not a choice. Them have the people them wrap around them finger. 
And it's one of the worst things when you have to depend on somebody for something. JPS, all the people them at the mercy right now for something where them not do. From 16,000 to 17 to 70,000. Woman, lady, a bill in one little shop with two fridges, she see a couple of little light bulb. And her phone, her, 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 her electrical bill gone up to 300,000. Come on, man. Government have to be better, man. This cannot happen, man, because this just this stress just going to add on to what the people are already going through. And it's going to make things worse. It's going to make things worse. So may I ask all of the people who have a platform, every Jamaican, whether they're in Jamaica, we have to do something, we have to talk more, we have to do whatever we can do. Because what go on? One day we are going to get up and something is going to happen where we now expect to happen down there. But trust me, where I am concerned, nothing is going to surprise me. Nothing that going to surprise me. Because the people in our position right now, and it will get wicked. It pass sticky. We don't see nothing yet. We don't see nothing yet. If this continue, we don't see nothing yet. We don't see anything yet if this continue. Sometimes I get to the point where it's like I don't even have the, the, the it's just hard for me to do sometimes do videos anymore because the things that the people that might go through it uh, it uh, hurt me as much as it uh, hurt them I may mean, see it. That hurt, it hurt me so much to talk about it. So I can just imagine how them feel, what uh, I wait do to them. But you know, I pray for a change, you know. I pray for a change. Can I help speak on this channel? This is Murphy. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I want the support from all you viewers and subscribers on my other two channels, Murphy's Catering Kitchen, and the other channel is Blessed Love. All right? So have a good one until we talk again. All right? Peace out.